We start at five with what is the official end to the Rio Grande rivalry this season. UNM and New Mexico State officials have decided to cancel both men's basketball games between the teams this year. And this is because of the deadly shooting on UNM's campus over the weekend. Spencer Schott joins us now from the pit where we just got the update this afternoon. Spencer, the teams were supposed to play there this weekend. Yep, that's right, Julie. And it's important to note that no University of New Mexico basketball players were involved in this weekend shooting. An, MS, an MSU player was injured, and currently he's not facing any charges. Like you mentioned, the two teams were supposed to face off against each other, and when we learned about the incident, it was postponed. But just today, UNM Athletic Director Eddie Nunez announced that this game, along with future games, have been canceled. Nunez goes on to say that student athlete student athlete safety is his number one priority. He says there have been issues at previous Rio Grande rivalry games, specifically down in Las Cruces. For example, in October, objects were thrown at UNM players during the game and a fight broke out between fans and players. As those safety concerns are being addressed and this weekend shooting is being investigated, officials at the two schools agreed they cannot compete at this time. We felt at this time there still there needed to be a pause. This event just recently occurred. Um, there's still a lot of anxiety and, 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 and concerns in the community, and we want to make sure that those take precedent over, over this, this event. Now, Nunez says there is a possibility that those two games can be made up this season, just not against NMSU. We'll have the details that fans need to know tonight at 6. Okay, Spencer, thank you so much for the update. The 17-year-old UNM student at the center of Saturday's deadly shooting appeared before a judge today. The court did not show her face because she is a juvenile, but investigators say that teen lured Aggie basketball player Michael Peake to the UNM campus over the weekend so a group of other UNM students could beat him up. Shots were fired. Peak was hit by a baseball bat and shot in the leg, but he allegedly fired back with his own gun, hitting and killing 19 year old UNM student Brandon Travis. Prosecutors wanted the 17 year old held before trial. Here's what the judge decided I'm going to um, hold the child but authorize CCP. Um, if the child is on CCP, she's going to have to comply with those requirements. The judge said the juvenile community custody program has to first determine the teen can be appropriately supervised if she is released before trial. If so, she'll have to comply with a long list of requirements.